Hey guys, um, in my last couple of episodes of Cracking Packs, I have um, been going on about uh, a deck I've been, library I've been working on, and um, this is it, it's mono black, um, and it needs a little tweaking here and there, I'm still getting either... Mana, uh, mana flooded which means you get too much mana or mana short so it means you're not, not getting enough mana and so what i'm doing is i'm going to give you an overview as to why i've got gotten why i have them so what i'm going to do is uh i think i've got 20 25 land one two three four five six seven eight. 20, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, I've got 25 land. This is a 60 card library. I've got 25 land. Now, artifacts wise, some are a little old, but some are a little cool. So I've got two Howling Mines. Uh, Howling Mine is a two cost artifact. Each player draws one additional card during their uh, draw step. So uh, if you've got two on the field, it does stack. FYI, it does stack. So. This would be um, draw one, draw an extra, um, and then draw an extra. So you get to draw three cards. Okay. Then we have got two millstones. These are in place of grindstones. Uh, I will be eventually getting my, my hands on some grindstones. But for now, all I've got is millstones, which is a uh, two, two cost artifact, two and a tap. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. So again, so tap, you put your mill two. So basically it's mill cards for two. And then we've got a uh, Bolus's Citadel. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. So anytime I can just go and take a look. You know, just draw it, take a look, draw it, take a look. Um, you may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library. Yeah, uh, if you cast the spell this way, pay life equal to the mana value rather than pay its mana cost. And then tap, sacrifice it, uh, um, uh, sacrifice 10 non-land permanents, each opponent loses 10 life. Okay, and that's a 6 cost artifact. Now this one is a pretty, uh, uh, um, pretty expensive card, because it's the foil variant. Foil variant's going for about £25-30 pounds now. Um, so I am playing with a, a few cards that are a bit expensive. The um, Howling Mines are going anywhere between twenty-five and thirty pounds each. So that's sixty right there. That's another, you know, fifty right here. Um, so I am playing with some very expensive cards. So please understand that this is not a cheap deck to to put together. Now these are enchantments. Now some of these enchantments I've swapped out and changed. Um, but we've got two Warlock classes and two Underworld Dreams. Now Warlock class, these enchantments stay on the field until you choose the player chooses to upgrade them okay unlike previous uh, uh sagas where each turn another effect triggers and then the saga is complete these stay on the field okay so basically i'm getting to choose what enchantment i want to use cool now level one at the beginning of your end step if a creature died this turn each opponent loses one life okay so if I've got a way of summoning a ton of minions and I sacrifice them all, and I sacrifice them, they take one point of damage per creature sacrificed. But then I just kind of pop. Are you starting to say win condition right there? Because that's a win condition right there. So pretty much, you're starting to understand. Now, as a possible win condition now underworld dreams lovely enchantment got reprinted the original was it looked better in my honest opinion but anyway underworld dreams whenever an opponent an opponent draws a card underworld dreams deals one damage to that player okay not to me so with my howling minds i can keep drawing three cards and take no damage but when my opponent draws a card it takes damage it takes damage it takes damage Okay, and if I have both Underworld Dreams on, it stacks. So they've drawn six cards, they, they've drawn three cards and taken six damage. Okay, so you start to understand how the deck's going to be working. Now, we've got some creature removal in here. We've got some um, Power Word Kill. Now, the reason why I've gone with Power Word, well, power word Kill is because uh, it's an instant destroy. Uh, the target has to be 
non-angel, non-demon, non-devil, non-dragon. That's it. So this even works on planeswalkers. So I can just go, no planeswalker. Dead. No commander. Dead. As long as it's not an angel, a demon, a devil, uh, or, or a dragon. So, and then of course we've got the typical uh, the dark rituals. Uh, if you don't know what dark rituals do, um, dark rituals basically is tap. Uh, it's pay one black to generate three black mana. Okay, I've got four of them in there. So uh, let me get the rest of my power word kills out. I've got two two power word kills. Okay, so this 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 is mana ramp. So basically, this is how you ramp your mana up in in, in black. Okay, there's creature removal right there. Here's another two sets, which is murder which is destroy target creature, and it's just straight one and two black. Then we have th uh, four copies of Drain Life. Now, Drain Life um, is a very unique card because it allows me to heal myself. Are you starting to understand? Great. So if I can get Bola Citadel on the field, summon a, a specific creature that I need, i.e. Um, I've put a creature in here, you'll, you'll get what I'm talking about. So... I then drain life my opponent. I can only spend black mana to do it. Hence, this is why I've only got black mana. Hence, why this is I've only got black mana. Okay, I've only got black mana ramp. Um, and I can gain life back. So that's life gain right there. And I've got four of those buggers in there. Yes, it's a sorcery. I can only play it in my turn. But you know what? It's still, you can also still use this as removal. You can target a creature with it. You can target a planeswalker with it. You can target whatever, even the other player with it. If you want to burn the player directly, you can. Uh, and then we have got Corrupts. Uh, corrupts deals damage equal to the number of swamps I control to the target creature or player. And I gain life equal to the damage dealt that way. And it costs six. It's very expensive. So it's a late game use. Late game use but you know what? it can save your life so i do have life gain as well as creature removal and a few other things now let's take a look at the creatures in the deck we have got and i'm going to separate these so that they're easier for me to show them to you we have got quite a few uh, uh creatures in here that and and they're pretty pretty big creatures so you got to understand this the way this deck works is it's not creature based. This is not very heavy creature based, but the creatures that are in here are very heavy hitty, which means they have very high costs. And what I mean by that is our main uh, uh, um, villain in this deck, if you want to call him that, is Geth, Lord of the Vault. Now, Geth, Lord of the Vault, legendary creature zombie, so I can only have one of him on the field at a time, okay? But he costs, he, he, he costs six, and he's a 5 5 with Intimidate. So only black creatures or artifact creatures can block it. Now, he has X and black. Put target artifact creature card with a converted mana cost of X from the opponent's graveyard onto the battlefield under your control tapped. Then that player puts X top cards of his or her library into his graveyard, into their graveyard. So again, mill. Okay, mill. Powerful mill. More mill. And what I mean by that is we've got some... Hypnotic Spectres. Hypnotic Spectres are a 2-2 two, two for 3 flyer that when he does damage to an opponent, that opponent then discards a card from his hand. Okay, again, so hand removal. Now, I do want to tweak this a little. I need to add some duresses and I need to add some Mind Rocks, and I don't have them right now on hand. I don't have them on hand. They're common cards. I should have them on hand, but I don't. So, uh, other creatures I've got is... Uh, right of the prodigious six uh what that means is he gets plus one plus one for each creature for each creature card in your opponent's graveyard notice it says opponents so when i'm playing commander are you starting to understand when i'm playing two-headed ogre are you starting to understand this guy gets ramped for two he's a one one so now <laughs> Meet the next two creatures that are going to make you want to cry. Meet Mortarion Primarch of the Dark... <laughs> Mortarion Demon Primarch of the Death Guard. He's a 5-6 six for 6 flyer. Okay. That at the beginning of your end step, you may pay X. If you do, create X 2-2 two, two Black Astartes Warrior Creature Tokens with Menace. X can't be greater than the amount of life you lost this turn. So... Here's an idea. Volus is on the field. Okay. I look. It's a 
it's it's a Mortarion. I can then pay the six life, put Mortarion on the field, and then pay whatever mana I've got to summon two two black Astartes creatures. Uh, 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 basically, Death Guard Space Marines for six life. So, again, there's a reason why they all stack together. Now, the next creature in question is one that a pop. I'm not sure if I want to keep him in here yet because I haven't I haven't play tested a few hands. This is why I'm doing this video so I can play test a few hands. Pontiff of Blight. Now he costs again. He costs six. He's a 2-7 with Extort. Other creatures you control have Extort. Now, Extort is whenever you cast a spell, you may pay white or a black. If you do, each opponent loses one life, and I gain that much life. Okay, so again, this is another life drain, life heal. Okay, so again, we're running two Pontiffs, two Mortarions. Four Wrath of the Prodigious, two uh, uh, spect uh, uh, hi Hippies, and two Geth Lord of the Vaults. Those are the creatures. Those are the instants and sorceries. Um, those are the artifacts. Those are the um, uh, enchantments. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them all together, and I'm actually going to shuffle. And I'm going to play maybe five, ten hands. Uh, I'm recording it, so it is what it is. So bear in mind, this is not a perfect way to shuffle cards. I am not trying to say that this is the perfect way to shuffle cards. It's not what I'm saying at all. So what I'm going to do is I like to normally do a half-bake cut like that. And then I do a, a six-point. One, two, three. Like so. Four five six now this is how you can also tell if you've got 60 card decks because there should be 10 cards in each pile 10 times 6 is 60 three Seven, eight, nine, ten. Sixty-card deck. Okay. Now this is what's known as a. Now what some people do is stack, 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 stack. I don't do that. I do stack, stack. Stack, stack, stack. In that order. Two V-shapes. Then I let my opponent cut. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay. So Let's see. We're going to lay our land for the turn. Opponent has his turn. We draw. Okay, now I'm, I'm getting mana screwed, as you can see. There's nothing I can really do. Um, there is a few things I could do. Um, so I'm going to hold off. Let my opponent play his, have, play his turn. He plays a creature. His creature hits me. Ouch, I take a damage. My turn. I draw. Again. Not getting the land. So this is what I'm saying to you. Let's see. Okay, so next time I get a land, next time I get a land, next time I get a land. Again, see? That's a, what's that's what's called a ma mana flood. Again. You can. Nothing wrong with that. Again. I like to. Now, I'm not trying to look at the cards. See, like I said, I'm looking up. I'm not looking at the cards. Okay, so I don't even know who, what, where, or when. Two, four, six, 
seven. This is our starting opening hand. Two lands, hippie, underworld dreams, war. Okay. This this would be a hand I would keep. I play lap by a warrior class in my turn. Next turn, I draw a card. Let's play my land. Tap two. Wraith of the Prodigious Six is on the field. Okay, these, these are the cards that are in hand. Okay, so these are in hand. This is on field. Okay. In my turn, I draw. <laughs> Play two, Wraith of Prodigious Six. My turn, draw. Now we're cooking. Three, Hippie. Guaranteed Hippie's going to get targeted. But if Hippie doesn't, that's fine. Draw. Okay. Three, Underworld Dreams. Opponent draws, takes damage. Turn. Draw. Ooh. Even better. Mine. He draws two. Takes two. Bear in mind, hippies swing in. You know, things of that nature. These these cards are in hand. So I draw. Untap. I get to draw two, sorry. Okay. Lay my land for the turn. So I've got four mana now, finally. Uh, I'm going to play three. Another hippie. That's both my hypnotic specters now. Okay. Now, it's in hand. Okay. Swing takes two. I draw my two. Okay, so we've got finally got a creature removal in hand. That's good. Um, say we cast the creature removal to get rid of a, a, a planeswalker or something. Okay, it's fine. Again, draw one, two, drawn two. Okay, so we've got five mana in hand. We've got both our Pontiffs of Blight, both our Mortarions, and one Geth. Okay, so like I said, you've got to be careful because eventually you will. Another turn. All right. Now, unfortunately, we are short by one mana. So I'm going to pay my two, put Wraith of Prodigious Six on the field. Okay, so that's in our hand now. Okay. Opponent does his thing, comes back. Now, I could choose to level up the Warlock. Yeah. And that means I get to draw three cards, keep one, put the other two in the graveyard. But I won't. So we're just going to draw the two. Even better. Pay the two. Another Underworld Dreams. Uh, Howling Mine, another two. Millstone. So now my opponent draws three, takes three damage. My turn, I get to draw three. Okay, finally, there's our mana. I'm gonna pay all of it. Put down put down a, a bolus citigal. I mean I'm gonna take a look. Okay. Now I've got one. Two, three, four. You see what I'm saying? It, it it does eventually slowly get there. It's just taking its sweet time. Okay, so I'm gonna land no, another land for the turn. I am actually gonna use Abolus's ability, take two damage, put another millstone on the field. Okay, so these these are the cards that are in hand. Okay. Uh, if we've got over seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we've got over seven. So I'm going to have to discard. So I will discard a Pontiff of Blight. Yeah, I've got to discard two, actually. Uh, Pontiff of Blight and a uh, Drain Life. And then I'm going to pay four. And I'm going to mill my opponent for four. So I, you start to understand how the deck works. Okay. Now it was a little bit too slow for my liking. So what I'm going to do is I am going to look at trying to speed it up a little bit. 
may even reduce the creature that the high higher hitting creatures down to one um because i still have to add in um duresses and uh, mind rots for more hand control because if i can control the hands then my opponent can't really play anything really and if it can play something then okay cool great i will either power word kill it or death blow it or pop it with a uh, corrupt things of that nature surprised i didn't get a um get my opponent cut my opponent cuts Four, six, seven. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. I've got three drain lifes in hand. Go figure. Um, as you've seen, I've I've shuffled and cutted. Drawn a card. Play my land for the turn. So now I can actually activate a drain life if need be. Uh, next turn, my land tap. Underworld dreams. He draws, takes damage. Land for the turn. Three. Kippy. In my turn, he takes damage. I draw. Play a land for the turn. Uh, swing. Takes the damage. Discards. In my turn, he draws. He takes damage. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, okay. So I'm going to go one dark ritual for three. And then tap another three. Give me six. Mortarian. Demon Primark. Swing for two. He takes the two. He discards. In my turn, he draws, takes damage. Comes back, kills my Tippy, or, or better yet, no, we'll be, we'll, he'll kill my Mortarian most, most likely. So Mortarian goes for the grave. Again, I'm playing it off as if my opponent doesn't know. Okay, uh, untap, sorry. I'm going to play two, Howling Mine. Uh, Hippie's going to swing. Opponent discards. In my turn, he draws two, takes two damage. Play something. My turn, I untap. I draw two. Play my land for the turn. A two. Second howling mine. He uh, does something in return with a planeswalker. I then tap for. Tap before, drain life, creature up to four, gain four life back. In my turn, he then draws three. Takes three damage. My turn, I draw three. Okay. Get my land for the turn. Swing. Tap, he draws, takes three. In my turn. In my land for the turn. Six. Yes. Swing. He discards, draws, plays and starts swinging. He draws three, takes three. My turn is now down within killing range. I then draw my three. Excellent. Get my land for the turn. And then pay one. Warlock class. I 
and then search his graveyard, find a creature, pay whatever, mill, whatever, with Geth. Yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. It's getting there. It's it's slowly coming together, guys. It's slowly coming together. It's, it still needs a little bit of work. Still needs a little bit of love. Uh, but it, it's 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 slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. Ah. Now I don't do the whole this because it's too easy to. You know what I mean? It's too easy. So when players do this, that is is a form of deck a uh, deck stacking. And I don't do that. So again, we're gonna, you know, we'll let our opponent cut. Again, always let your opponent cut or have a judge cut cut for you. This is the thing a lot of players don't seem to understand is you can always have a judge shuffle and cut. Okay. So, so there's our land for the turn. Oh, beautiful. Everything would be on point. Everything would be on point. So turn one. Okay, turn two, we've drawn. Okay. Play a land. Wraith of Edition 6. On point. Turn two. Underworld Dreams. Turn four. Put that down. We've got four mana. Right, we've got, you know, some... some both my Primarchs in my hand. But the point is, it will... It will trigger. See, there we go. There's five. A dark ritual would help me get Pontiff on the field. There you go. Yeah, so I'd go with Pontiff first. So a dark ritual for the the, the the three. Six. Uh yeah. Like so. Dark ritual goes to the grave. Got two mana left. So I got a nice little blocker now. Draws, takes his damage from drawing. Play my land for the turn. Then I'm going to go. Six. Mortarion. And then pay one black. Because I can. I played a spell. Creatures, creature spells are still a spell. I can then extort. Loses one life. Gain one life. In my turn. Underworld Dreams does one damage to him. Oh, oh this is like. Legendary. Another six. Geth. Okay, another one. Extort. Untap. So you can, you can see how fast this will ramp. You've just got to figure out who the what the where the when and the how. Um, when it comes to when it comes to deck building, I like to have multiple win conditions. Just beating an opponent down is one thing, and it's fun. You can, you can do that. You can just beat an opponent down. I don't suggest you do that. It's fun. So yes, you could. I don't suggest you shuffle like this either, because all it takes is for one sleeve to get caught, like the way it just did, and the whole stack goes to shit. See? Never couple... Again, this is why I say to people, don't ever shuffle like that. And when you do shuffle like this, always look, keep the deck face down, even if it's your opponent, especially if it's your opponent's. Play fair. Play fair. Now, again, I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay? My opponent can choose to cut. Nine times out of ten, you get that one guy that does that. You know? You, it's fine. Fair enough. It's fine. Three. Six. Seven. This is what's in our hand. 
everything would be on point. I could quite literally go one warlock. Okay, next turn, draw. Two. Howling Mine. Opponent draws two. Just thinking, ooh, thanks for the extra card. I didn't draw two. Then I could go one. Dark Ritual, so I just draw, drew one. Underworld Dreams. Let my opponent... Draw his two cards, take his two damage. Come back. My turn. I draw my two. Now, technically, I've got five mana. What can I do with five mana? Not much. So, I'm going to pay two. Millstone. Now, if he's dropping creatures, then yeah, I will use my Drain Lie. Or play a creature of myself. Play a creature myself. You know, but <laughs> if it's a red burn um, or a white, I notice white and green have been coming, uh, turning into burn decks lately. Again, this is not a valid um, type two uh, type two deck. This is a type clearly a type one library um, because some of the cards I'm using are from are, are, are type one. Um, I do have two starter decks from the new carrots and whatnot and rabbits and blah 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 and I'm just like eh, not my thing. Well if I if I wanna play Watership Down Magic the Gathering then I will, but I'm not. I like I liked Urza's, I liked Savage, I liked uh, Legacy, I liked Legion, I liked Kamigawa, um not that Neon Dynasty shot, the original Kamigawa series. Um I liked Urza's. I liked sets where you actually gave a damn and, like, and were worth a damn. You know? Um, but it is what it is. So, two, four, six, seven. All right. So, we got one black, two dark rituals. So, we could. Oh, two, both murders. Fair enough. All right. So, that was our opening hand. Ouch, ouch, ouch. If I don't get a land on the fourth star, see this one? Yeah, see. Again, 25 cards are mana in a 60 card deck. Mathematically, you should get at least two mana within the first two turns. Mathematically. Getting mana screwed like that tells me that the, the deck is not happy. Now, I'm not a firm believer in the whole fart of the cards, Yu-Gi-Oh kind of thing. But what I am a firm believer in is sometimes, just just sometimes. Well, that's a first. That was a first. That tells me that this deck is not happy. That tells me that my library is not happy. It's probably not happy that it's being recorded. It's probably what it is. It's just probably being stubborn. Why are you being stubborn, Dom? Right. Opponent cuts. Two. Four. Six. Seven. All right. Now we're going to get mana flooded. All right, so again, first turn, it's on point. Next turn, two, tap, Wrath of the Prodigious. Untap, next turn. Play our land, Warlock class. Then, Grindstone. Untap, in hand, lay land, uh, pay two. Top two, graveyard, 
this creature gets pumped. Next turn. And then for the turn. Again, pay two, tap, pump two. Okay. Then my land for the turn. This is where it gets fun. Tap. Bolas field. Then my land for the turn. So it's in hand. Using Bolas effect. Okay. Cool. Okay. Tap. Or I draw. Mill my opponent for two. Draw. Mill my land. Uh, no, not yet. Um, so you can see what, how the deck's working out. Um, there's no demonic tutor, so I don't get to search or anything. But a demonic tutor would just get ridiculous in price, like ridiculous. But you're starting to understand how this deck works, and it's just a simple mono black. That's designed on hand control and then therefore life drain. Uh, so you can use your life as a form of mana with uh, bolus. Uh, and like I said, I may even put in a second bolus. Um, so yeah, it's it is what it is, guys. And it's a fun little deck. I like it. Uh, a friend of mine, Logan. Canadian, uh, met him when I lived in Utah. He had a deck very similar to this, um, but then sadly someone stole his deck. Um, which, I don't get it, guys. If, you, if you're doing it because you know you want their cards, why don't you just ask them for a deck list and then build it yourself? You know, um, but yeah, someone stole his library. Someone stole it, and uh, it sucks. Uh, I did my best to try and replace his library for him. Um, six, seven, one land, and dark ritual. So we got something. So I could go one dark ritual, hippie. There's a start hand. Two, and my land for the turn. It's a six. If he swings, if he discards creature, he gets pumped. Boom, boom. Draw. Ugh, not much I can do with two mana, but I'll do what I see what I can. So yeah, you can understand how the library works. Um, you can get some mana ramp, can get some decent um use, utilage. Uteria, whatever the word is, um, usefulness. There you go. You can get some usefulness out of this deck. Um, but yeah, there's no Lilianas, there's no Planeswalkers, there's ah, I've got a fucking split. Good job I've ordered like in two hundred fucking sleeves. Um, but point is, you can, when it comes to building a library, you want to have multiple win conditions. Um. One of which is, as you saw, Bolas is one, Underworld Dreams is another. Um, there's, there's tons of different uh, win conditions in this library. Um, so yeah, like I said, guys, um, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this deck build design thing. Um, I couldn't show you it in. Uh, I couldn't show it to you uh, via. Um, magic online or anything because magic online doesn't have most of these cards anymore but uh anyway so i had to show you the physical cards so i hope you enjoyed it guys if you did please give the video a like I greatly appreciate it if you're new around here hit the subscribe button again i greatly appreciate it and i will see you in uh, the next one my friends